We'll just do a quick walk around of the boat here. This is uh, an independent shipwright IS-25. It's powered by a 44 horse Yanmar diesel inboard engine. It's a big small boat. We are coming into the cockpit. Extra set of controls for steering and for the engine. Transmission. Here we are looking forward. Still got to get the radar mounted, but the radar arch is there now. We'll go ahead and go inside. Still got quite a bit of junk in here, but. Got to rewire these fans. They're working, but I need to hide the wires and get that done. We have a Force 10 propane heater, which works okay. And then down here is a Nova Cool AC DC fridge, hot and cold running water, and then also out in the cockpit, that white panel there in the center is a, a shower. Uh, going forward here in the galley along the starboard side, a fair amount of storage under the sink. You got four drawers, pretty good uh, cabinet underneath the propane cooktop. And then this is a hanging locker up top, and then another locker with shelves below. And then here on the port side, this is the head compartment. And in here is a nature's head, correction, an airhead, composting toilet. I can't believe I said that. And then that's uh, vented up to the top. There's a little computer fan inside of that that keeps drawing air and moisture out of the toilet. And then there's a, a solar powered vent fan on top that supplements that as long as the uh, sun is out and uh, it keeps the battery for that one charged. Here looking at the helm uh, seat, helm station. Fairly simple layout, but bilge pump controls, windlass control, switch for the heater. And here's the propane uh, leak detection, auto shutdown monitoring system. And then going across on the engine controls. Hour meter tachometer, water temp, oil pressure, and a fuel gauge. Uh, there's a clock down there. These are the uh, uh, DC panels here. Uh, Standard Horizon VHF radio. This is a Garmin 942XS, I think is the model. Chart plotter with the radar that still has to be mounted. Here's a Lorentz uh, plotter. Both of these two plotters have uh, uh, different depth sounders, transducers. Then over here on this side is a hardwired mounting base uh, and charger for the uh, VHF marine radios or the handheld VHF radios. And then down here under the passenger seat is the AC panel. Underneath that seat is the battery charger and inverter. And then under this panel here forward, uh, where the footrest for the passenger would be is the uh, batteries. There's two AGM house batteries and one AGM engine start battery. And then looking forward in the V-berth, it's uh, fairly comfortable. It's like a seven foot berth. And underneath the uh, starboard side there, uh, under the mattress is a six gallon water heater that's uh, powered either by the engine coolant or AC power if it's plugged into shore power. Uh, that's an outlet there for the heater. 
which uses engine coolant. There's a fan, blows it across a heat exchanger and then provides heat that heats up the wheelhouse quite nicely. And then step down into the V-berth. And uh, behind this panel here is all the DC switch panels or DC panels, I should say. So that's pretty much it on the inside. Then looking forward onto the foredeck, we can see uh, an extra anchor that's stored up there in chocks and the uh, windlass and self-launching anchor. So there you go. Quick tour of the boat. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.